Photoshop and I'm just going to point out where some different things are located, how it's organized. So up here we have, sorry I'm going to click on Photoshop, up here we have our main menu items, file, image, layer, select, filter. Uh, these have a lot of uses, we're not going to go into the details of them right now, but these are our main menu items up here. Down here we have our toolbar or toolbox on the left and this has uh, most of the tools that we'll be using. You can adjust it with that with these arrows if you prefer it to be laid out like this. It's a little easier to get to this way uh, because they're side by side and so you don't have to go all the way down to get to all your tools but the downside of that is that it takes away some room for your documents or pictures that you're working on. So over here we have our layers panel, we have our adjustments and styles, and then we have our color swatches. This is a really important tool right here. This is the history tool. If you do something and you want to undo it, you can press command Z, but that only will take you back one step. If you need to go back several steps, you're going to click on the history button, and you're actually going to drag items from the history down into the trash can and then you can hide this dialog box by clicking on these arrows. Um, right here we have our, our uh, options panel and you'll notice that the options panel changes depending on the tool that you've picked because different tools have different options. So this is the way that Photoshop is laid out. These are the main uh, areas that you need to be aware of in order to be able to use it. 